You say, well, pastor, I'm just not so sure that I believe that. The reason you would say that is because a religious system has taught you to believe that. But you take that conclusion and you run straight into the gospels and you let the life and example and words of Jesus begin to sweep through your soul and through your spirit. And you realize, oh, he is the God of love. He is the heart of kindness. And he loves people just because it's his heart to love people. He doesn't start loving them when they get their act together. Religion will tell you that. He loves us because he loves us. What we're saying is he ain't a system. He's not a bunch of law. He is the one who loves your soul. And, and, and if you can let the other stuff fail you and, 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 and move away from you for a moment and let that in, you mean to tell me that I don't have to do one thing to be loved by him. You mean to tell me that it's not about God getting something from me before he would give something to me. That's what I'm telling you. Because he knows that when we're responding to his love, it is an infinitely greater motivation than responding out of fear. I better do this or God will do that. No. I do this, Lord. Because you came after me. You loved me. You opened my eyes to your love for me when I hadn't given you anything but grief. <laughs> Can I get a witness? When that drops 18 inches... That it's not about God holding a bunch, up a bunch of hoops to see who can make it through the hula hoop the highest and he keeps raising it. It's not a performance show. It's about just opening your heart up to the one who would be saying, I, I know you've run. I know you've checked out. I know what you're doing and I know where you've been. But will you hear this, please? I love you. 